Welcome to the HODLcast, your source for crypto education and inspiration. Thanks for listening. Thank you to all guests who contributed a prediction for this podcast. Really appreciate it. Just keep in mind, this is not legal or investment advice, and each opinion is that of the guest. Hi, and welcome to the Prediction Cast. This is your host, Sasha Hodder, and my 2023 predictions are... One, we're going to see a real fight for regulatory capture. The SEC will attempt to implement some new, even broader version of the Howey test that basically calls anything that's not a proof of work coin as a crypto security and will require custodial platforms selling these crypto securities to register with the SEC. The CFTC will pass a bill that basically requires all proof of work coins um, to be considered crypto commodities and any custodial platform selling those will need to register as a commodities dealer and there'll likely be some kind of um, midpoint for for exchanges that are selling both commodities and securities that one or the other registration you know satisfies both we're going to see some really exciting case law come out of the tornado cash versus ofac case the founder, I suspect, you know, I hope, I predict that he'll be freed from the Dutch prison with no charges. And we've got the top, you know, uh, attorneys from Coin Center and Coinbase fighting to, to make the argument that code is speech and protected by the First Amendment. The IRS will likely publish some kind of guidelines on how to treat funds that are tied up in the crypto 2022 contagion of bankruptcies. It will likely include treating it as a total loss, not hindered by the 3,000 capital gains tax loss limit. Sam Bankman fried I suspect he gets sentenced to 12 years at a low security prison. And one silver lining is it raises the hypocrisy of Ross Albright's draconian sentence to the public limelight and sentencing reform becomes a major topic in the 2024 elections. Ross's freedom looks possible. As for a Bitcoin price, (laughs) TikTok next block. (laughs) I don't think this year is going to be, you know, a killer year for all time highs, but I'll I'll go with a round out of 33,000 this time next year. That's my prediction. (laughs) Thanks and uh, have have a great year, everyone. All right. This is Rare Skrilla with my 2023 predictions. Let's get it cracking. I believe that 2023 will see the rise of a new meme coin or an old meme coin doesn't matter but it will involve pepe i believe fake rares will continue to innovate and elevate rare pepe the nakamoto card will continue in the upward trading pattern aotm will become the powerhouse crypto art gallery as artists involved will continue to crank shit out Fake rare galleries all over the map, everywhere in the metaverse and real life will continue to impress more frog, frog art, IRL art. Bitcoin art will continue to flourish. Shout out to Scare City. Shout out to all the creators. IRL Bitcoin art, proof of work Bitcoin art, NFT Bitcoin art. Bitcoin art using the Bitcoin blockchain. Shout out to Bitcoin Audio. Um, artists to watch in crypto art next year. Definitely would watch DJ Pepe, DJ Pepe, DJ Pepe, DJ Pepe, and DJ Pepe are all top five artists to watch. Grand Rising replaces GM. Grand Rising is also a music project I'm putting out next month be on the lookout for that and that's my 2023 predictions hey guys leia heilpan here so this is my prediction for 2023 bitcoin will continue to move sideways i don't think we're going to see any new all-time highs or any new all-time lows until the halving in 2024 i think regulation will continue to come it's inevitable at this point especially after everything that we've seen with ftx Um, and i think this is going to be very bad for the crypto industry in the united states and also europe i think this then leads dubai to continue to grow as the number one crypto hub across the 
the world with all of their crypto friendly regulations. I think we'll also see central bank digital currencies very much on the horizon. There'll be more tests, more banks adopting them. Social credit scores will also begin to be tested in 2023. I think we'll also continue to see um, a war on freedom of speech and there'll be a major tug of war between the left and the right. As governments increase their censorship, it's going to be cl very clear to people. And I think more people are going to start waking up and taking action. A little bit like Elon Musk um, owning Twitter. I think that's a massive sign that people are starting to wake up to this reality that in Sanity is taking over. So I think Bitcoin is going to be our solution because when you control the money, you control the world. It's going to be a fantastic way to opt out and um, more people are going to have to adopt Bitcoin so that we can become more sovereign, um, especially with CBDCs on the horizon. This is Theo Goodman, the OG, TG, some say too good, with predictions for 2023. Starting off with crypto, Bitcoin, blockchain. FTX, Sam Bankman fried. He will not go to prison in 2023. FTX will reopen and operate in some capacity in order to try to recoup funds for its customers. Binance. Binance will have a bank run, meaning a shit ton of people will try to withdraw at the same time and they won't be able to. But CZ and Binance will survive, no problem. Not without a bit of chaos for a few days, though. Bonus, detailed prediction. This will be triggered with a short notice. We're shutting down due to maintenance. Happens all the time in crypto. Causes chaos. Bitcoin price. Bitcoin price will mostly grind sideways, trading between a daily low of $13,000 and a high of $22,000, with an average price of $16,500. You like those detailed predictions? NFTs. Growth in the NFT sector will be punctuated with more NFTs being minted than ever before. Although high-profile sales in the hundreds of millions might not be seen, there will be solid demand for vintage historical NFTs from 2019 and earlier, as well as new interest in art NFTs. Everyone's favorite topic, politics. Election. 2023, plenty of riots throughout the U.S. for any number of reasons. Right, left, center, everyone's rioting. It'll probably be a boring Biden versus DeSantis election. Regardless of who wins, more riots. Biden will say a lot of things that don't make sense. DeSantis will say a lot of things that don't make sense. Trump will say a lot of things that don't make sense. He'll probably make the most sense out of all of them, but he won't get the nomination, and that'll cause riots. DeSantis will get caught doing lines of coke with a hooker, and Biden will win. And that'll cause riots. When I say someone makes the most sense, I mean coherent language use and use of arguments that can be followed. Not that I agree with the person. Sports. MMA. Both Conor McGregor and John Jones will have MMA fights in 2023. Both Conor McGregor and John Jones will be arrested in 2023. Both Conor McGregor and John Jones will test positive for performance enhancing drugs in 2023. Both Conor McGregor and John Jones will make a shit ton of money in 2023. Those are my predictions for 2023. Thank you so much. This is Theo Goodman signing off. Hi, I'm Lynn Albrecht. Predictions are never easy. Life is uncertain and anything can happen. I should know. I never in a million years would have predicted that my beloved son Ross would be serving a double life sentence in a maximum security prison. Yet there he is, at least for now. But 2023 seems especially unpredictable after the last few years of crazy events. Few saw those coming and what's next is just as unforeseeable. It feels like we are on a trajectory to who knows where. But what seems inevitable is not necessarily so. There are always wild cards that no one can predict that change our lives. The internet was one of these. Who knows what's coming next? There are mysterious forces at work that we can't control or predict. So my prediction for 2023 is that it will be unpredictable. I do expect that next year will be a wild ride. So let's buckle up and trust in the power of good as we careen into next year.
Hey, Sasha. Sorry for the delay. Um, look, uh, it's such a tricky situation uh, because Bitcoin has been so non-volatile. So I still believe that 2023 will be the beginning of a bull market. And I'm expecting 2023 to close above $50,000 for a Bitcoin. However, before we kick off the bull market, there is a decent probability that we're going to experience one more capitulation. And I am expecting it sooner than later. I don't believe Bitcoin will fall below 11,000. And most likely, if it crashes one more time, it's going to find a floor around 14K. It doesn't have to do that. But uh, right now, the charts are still projecting for one more leg down before the eventual start of the bull market. And what am I going to say? What am I going to say? I got nothing. I got nothing. Let me try OpenAI. Bingo. As 2023 approached, Mike in space became convinced that the next big rally for Bitcoin was just around the corner. He spent hours poring over charts and analyzing market trends, and he was convinced that the price of Bitcoin was about to explode. Mike decided to put his money where his mouth was and invested a large chunk of his savings into Bitcoin. He bought as much as he could afford and waited for the price to rise. At first, it looked like he had made a terrible mistake. The price of Bitcoin stagnated, and Mike watched in frustration as his investment seemed to be going nowhere. But he refused to give up, and he continued to hold on to his Bitcoin, believing that the market would eventually turn in his favor. Finally, in the fall of 2023, his patience was rewarded. The price of Bitcoin began to soar, and Mike watched in amazement as his investment grew exponentially. Within a few short months, he had made back his original investment several times over, and he was well on his way to becoming a crypto millionaire. Hey, Sasha, calling in from London. So price predictions of the year. Um, you know, I actually am optimistic. Most, if not all, the leverage is now out of the system. So uh, I am expecting the 2023 price trajectory to be flat, but then up. Um, but there are potential issues in 2023. Uh, we're concerned about Binance Fractional Reserve and how GBTC, DCG, and Genesis issues will play out. And obviously, you know, the Gox coin on lock. Uh, again, sorry for calling in on actually Abbey Road. Okay, in regards to macro outlook, uh, we are expecting inflation to continue to decline, but remain above that 2% target for some time. So um, if the Fed does pivot, risk assets should do particularly well again. So a dovish Fed and tamed inflation may coincide with the Bitcoin halving in early 2024, which would be great. And as you know, on-chain evidence is suggesting recently, uh, we could continue seeing more and more users moving assets into self-custody. I think that's a good thing that happened from this year. And there's a whole lot of Bitcoin addresses with more than one Bitcoin. Um, I was told nearing a million. So, and over 66% of all Bitcoin has not moved on-chain over a year. So, you know, kudos to us hodlers, but obviously that's very optimistic and bullish for Bitcoin long term as a store of value. When will the bull market come? Answer is always not sure. <laughs> I don't think any of us, us are soothsayers. I think all we know is one Bitcoin is always going to be one Bitcoin. But I am Road, optimistic about Road. next year. So, Sasha, thank you. You are the best. And I hope that uh, this was helpful. Good luck trading. Sasha, you asked what was the prediction for 2023. Well, let's look at what happened in 2022. Um, the crypto bubble burst, lots and lots of bankruptcies um, filed, Celsius, FTX, um, Voyager. And I believe that in 2023, we're going to see a whole lot more the after effects uh, of these large bankruptcies that were filed. Uh, ancillary companies that were associated with these companies will start seeing the reverberations 
So there's a lot more to come in 2023, in my opinion. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, 18 months down the line, things will stabilize. This is Doug Tenapel. I'm the creator of Earthworm Jim, The Neverhood, and Nickelodeon's Cat Scratch. I also made an NFT set called Doug Tenapel's Eternal Clay on OpenSea. And my wallet is now compromised and destroyed, so don't even think of buying them. My predictions for Bitcoin in 2023 is that it's going to hit down, it's going to crater down to about 11,000, which I think is its actual real, useful, safe value by all the billionaire whales that are holding it. I don't think they're going to, they don't need to go below that. But pretty much everyone who can get out of it will panic out of it. Uh, at, at another dip, I'm predicting. I don't know when. I'm I'm a comic book artist, so I, I'm telling you, I don't know what I'm talking about. But my my, and by the way, Ethereum is going to zero because it's worthless, and I use it. I make video games for a living. It is worthless. Um, I'm going. I'm I'm going to give you kind of the the basis of where I'm coming from on the prediction of those low numbers. It's that it's. Basically, I'm predicting how human beings will view uh, all finances, gold, stocks, food, fuel next year, that I think there will be a downturn and a radical uh, lowering and adjustment of these, any, any non-necessary thing. And that's just because I don't see what's going to turn jobs around. I don't see jobs being created. I don't see people hungry to get back into the workforce and kick butt and open up new businesses and try new things. Those people are suckers and, they, and they're and they stupid. So I think there's a level of timidity, which always drives markets down. Timidity. So until I see drilling happening and a mass expansion of business, I'm going to keep betting that it's going to go below uh, where it's been the last 10 years. So probably back down to around 2009 levels. So Bitcoin could have a long way to drop. That's my general feeling is that things are still too sunny and optimistic uh, for the price that today is probably 16 or 17,000 per. Ethereum, I think, has a lot more air to let out just because it is made of so much more air. This is a clunky... Uh, uh, 1990s dial-up level technology that, you know, it's like, it'd be like going into the gaming today and starting on a Sega Genesis. It's really low tech. It really doesn't do much. It's good for basically a contract. It's not good for Web3 gaming and expanding and all that that they talk about. It, it, it Another product needs to come along and take its place. And, and that usually does happen. So I... I will bet on that, but Ethereum's days are uh, numbered and gone. When they uh, when they followed the woke environmentalist uh, lie scam, they went to proof of stake, and now they're going to basically get nailed by the government. Bitcoin can still make it. I do think the Bitcoin the, the government's going to try to make all cryptocurrency illegal in the U.S. They just can't have stuff that they don't control that is person to person. They can't have that floating around out there. You see with their laws, they got to take this stuff out. That's my prediction for 2023. I do think Bitcoin is a useful tool. It's going to be around forever. And uh, if more people use it, it will go up in price. But its I don't think it's a good investment. I think it's a great tool to use. I'm Doug Tenapel. Hi, everyone. This is Bill, law clerk at Hotter Law, here to give my crypto forecast for the new year. 2022 saw a whole swath of bad actors washed out of the market. For the people obsessing over capitulation, that may have been it. Of course, there are other macroeconomic events to consider. Instability in China and the ongoing war in Ukraine might create some more bumps in the road for the global economy. I think we are going to see a lot of sideways chop as the market deals with the ripple effects of all the black swans that graced our presence this last year. But anticipation of 2024's Bitcoin halving might see us slowly grind upwards in the latter half of the year. I hope everyone listening has a happy new year and hold on. My predictions for 2023 in crypto will see Bitcoin hover between 
16 and $25,000 for most of the year, maybe a couple outliers at the end of the year, November, December. We will start heading up as we prepare for the halving. I believe Bitcoin and crypto regulation will be coming forward uh, in this year. Republicans and Democrats will work bipartisan to make smart crypto regulation. I don't think it's the end of the world. And I also believe that we will see FTX hearings on Capitol Hill all year long. Yeah, so Bitcoin has never seen a recession. We had this 14-year boom. It'll be at least a six quarter recession. Last time it was what, four, five quarters. So my gut's telling me we stay sub 50K and that's taking the having being priced in into consideration. That and the fact that more and more coins are being sold by weak hands into strong hands. Both of these considerations imply a supply squeeze. We have to ask ourselves, where's the money gonna come from to pump liquidity into market cap? especially when you take interest rates and inflation into account. The economy is not in a position where institutions, say for the banks, right, because they're all quietly buying Bitcoin. Uh, if, if we're lucky and NATO doesn't launch into war with Russia directly, we might see the economy pick back up in Q2 in preparation of 2024 elections. There should be some attempt to prop markets up as politicians and their puppeteers try to maintain their positions during the regime change. But yeah, institutions are not in a position to buy Bitcoin as buying the asset itself is still widely considered as speculating. Bitcoiners know it's the least risky investment in the mid and long term, especially in an environment rife with money printing and rehypothecation. But yeah, anyway, price prediction. I'm not too good with reading the tea leaves and chicken bones, but I'll say we'll peak and bounce off 53K with one caveat. If CBDCs are officially deployed to the general public of any G7 nation, we'll for sure see Bitcoin market cap cross 2.1 trillion. It's the implementation of ideological monetary policies allowing for programmable money that put constraints on what people can and cannot purchase. That will be the catalyst for mass Bitcoin adoption as there would be no alternative for financial freedom. Hi, I'm Gideon Heilpan, and I predict unvaccinated sperm will be the next Bitcoin. Women are going to go crazy for it. New dating apps will emerge for unvaccinated singles, and vaccine verification technology will come to market. Every major city in the world will continue to denigrate to shit. The World Economic Forum will continue to champion Ethereum's proof of stake by claiming it's the greener solution and better than Bitcoin. Lastly, Twitter is the most important and valuable social media app, and we can say whatever we want under Elon Musk's leadership, so long as this lasts. I want to make the prediction that Bitcoin is currently under a full-scale attack. A steep and prolonged bear market is upon us thanks to the FTX crop. Combined with the attacker, an irrational economic player, massively investing in mining hardware such that difficulty keeps growing. It puts such a shock and pressure on the other miners that they will be forced to wind down. The attacker will buy their operations. All of this combined with the regulatory attack on mining will result in a 51%. This attack will then be used to frustrate the main chain while the global governments attempt to put up laws against Bitcoin. This combination of internal system failure in Bitcoin and these outside regulatory pressures will undermine Bitcoin to such an extent that the attacker can buy large amounts of Bitcoin. Then it's checkmate. If Bitcoin keeps persisting, the attack is now assured with large stake in the future. If it dies, competition to unlimited power through central bank digital currencies is upon us. My prediction for the 2023 markets is that better pricing models will emerge for digital assets that volatility for Bitcoin and Ethereum will decrease over the next year, that um, the correlation between Bitcoin's price and Ethereum's price in the equities markets will hopefully decouple and possibly even the correlation between Bitcoin and Ethereum will also slightly decouple. This will be positive for the digital asset markets because it will show maturity and understanding from investors that they understand the pricing of these assets and have 
reasonable expectations of where these assets will go in the future, and they're able to differentiate between um, equities and digital assets. 2023, everyone's talking recession. I hear doom and gloom everywhere. I think something different may happen. I believe uh, with all this negative atmosphere in the air, there we are due for a white swan event. Some some event, maybe peace breaks out, who knows? Something will happen and it will start a rally, a massive rally, a face melting rally that just drives the market up really fast. What happens after that? I don't know. Every year I wonder what's going to happen the next year for Bitcoin. Will it be a bull or a bearish year? And usually I am optimistic Unfortunately, this time I'm less optimistic and I think we're going to have a lot further to go down before we go back up. Um, maybe by the end of next year, we should be back, um, you know, closer to our all time highs. But in the meantime, I'm not expecting much. Hey, this is Vake coming in with my 2023 Bitcoin predictions. My first prediction is that in the aftermath of the FTX debacle, we're going to see an increased emphasis on self-custody and continued outflow of funds from exchanges into people's cold storage. Uh, my second prediction is that we're going to start seeing increased islands of Bitcoin adoption. Everyone knows about El Salvador, but there's also Bitcoin Beach Brazil and Bitcoin Island in the Philippines. So uh, we're going to start seeing a lot more islands of Bitcoin adoption popping up all over the world. A lot of conferences in other countries, just like we had conferences in, uh, in, in Austria, in the German language, in India, as well as Ghana this year. There's going to be a lot more Bitcoin events uh, going on abroad in places that you didn't really expect it. And then finally, for my price prediction, I predict that Bitcoin will end 2023 at $35,000. My name is David Fuchs, and let me start with a quick disclaimer. Do your own research, D-Y-O-F-R, and nobody knows what can happen with Bitcoin in 2023. However, my prediction for what will happen with Bitcoin in 2023 is we will have a record year of growth because price follows hash, and the hash rate of Bitcoin has only been going up, reaching new record levels consistently over the last three months in 2022, suggesting that people are really understanding the value of Bitcoin and doing anything to accumulate more of it. My crypto prediction for the upcoming year, if crypto refers to cryptography, then I'm looking forward to that date where SHA-256 breaks or any, anyone finds a way to, to break it. I uh, believe I might not experience it in my lifetime. Um, that being said, I think Bitcoin is still, for me at least, the best store of value long term. And um, do what you can, you know, to educate others. Once you're a Bitcoiner, you uh, usually don't become a shitcoiner again or um, a fiat maxi or in any way go back to the old world. And uh, stack sats, that's uh, still the, the hack, the lifetime hack to reduce um, the friction that uh, the socialism and the communism is causing in the world and it will advance uh, freedom and liberty for everyone and therefore um, yeah leave the planet in uh, in good shape for the for the future generation so i'll record the uh, ocean because i'm in el salvador at the beach walking at the beach costa del sol it's quite nice and you know one bitcoin is one bitcoin and there will never be more than 21 mil million so uh, go get your sats go get your corn um, it's not about how much one Bitcoin is worth, it's how many of 21 bil bi million you have, right? It's how many Bitcoins do you own of the 21 million that will ever exist? 
Yo, what's up? This is Kane Mayfield. Uh, giving my 2023 predictions. I think 23 will be uh, the year of the effort. So all the people who are working and currently planting, I think a lot of stuff is going to be harvested this year, be it platforms, protocols. I think it'll be another great year for Fake Rare, um, another great year for XCP. I think, you know, there'll be a, there'll be some some turmoil. Big year for Manifold. Uh, a lot of artists are going to start moving off platforms and moving towards independence and sovereignty. Hopefully that's a trend. Make that a new a new thing. And it's going to be a year of uh, probably a couple fake award shows, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> and um, and I think it'll be a year for for me personally putting up some of the best art ever and finally taking, you know, uh, taking my spot among the, the people who who I look up to and, and, and admire in the space. So that's kind of, I guess, my 2023 hope. But. Yeah, I got some I got some cool stuff brewing. And of course, um, uh, I hope it's a great year for my friends. It's Dan Anderson, a.k.a. Drop Lister, here to tell you about what I foresee will happen in the next year. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's because I didn't pay enough crypto for my dishwasher. Dishwasher to crypto is a very exotic trading pair, but a real trading pair. Uh, house to crypto is a exotic but real trading pair uh, a lot of meme houses a lot of crypto houses um i know of happened in 2021 2022 2023 what will we see i think 2023 it's all about the meme parking lot you know like the meme back alley i think it's all about the riches and the, the niches is what they say. Um, but we'll see people mining the, what would we call it? Um, the dearth of NFTs for value, uh, finding niches in the riches. I, I, I don't know if that sounds like English as I say it that, but, um, that'll be one play in 2023. Um, I think anything you've heard of is probably going to go down. Anything you haven't heard of is probably going to go up. Um, find what the limits of permissionless are. Find what the limits of uh, pseudonymity are. That's my 2023, but I'm long, long Bitcoin and short everything else. Eric Hess, Encrypted Economy. Predictions 2023. Word usage matters. Prediction number one. Using words with regulatory implications without appreciating the ramifications is something that's going to be increasingly focused on in 2023. Front ends, orders, exchanges, all these terms have regulatory implications, and that's going to be visited more in 2023. Number two, SEC wins for crypto regulation in the U.S., irrespective of Ripple. Number three, Native token issuance projects become more problematic, again, reverting to an earlier time. Europe takes the lead with a more conducive approach with MICA. Next, crypto natives and DGENs start to take Urbit ecosystem more seriously. Next, despite a harsher env environment for early stage crypto projects, institutional trading of BTC and ETH grows. Next, DeFi will emerge at the institutional level for lending and crypto projects will adapt to this market. Next, the pressures of cybersecurity and BSA at the institutional level will result in newer, different DeFi models that are not fully decentralized. And last, fantasy sports find crypto or vice versa. Happy to 2023. I foresee new practical payment options being made available for crypto holders with an emphasis on self-custody as a highly valued feature in transactions. When these payment options become more widespread and practical, more companies will then issue their own crypto to be used as shares, equity, or currency. This will help Bitcoin bounce back big time as a store of value. I hope we have an end to the war in Ukraine and peace in 2023. Happy New Year. 
Hey, Sasha, I think it's really obvious now that 2022 Celsius and FTX crashes have highlighted the differences between Bitcoin and crypto to the general no-coiner public pretty well, finally, uh, more so than ever before, at least, and especially greatly contributed to an understanding of the importance of self-custody. Uh, so with such um, renewed awareness or interest in self-custody, I'm thinking 2023 should be a really banner year for all of the existing laws about our privacy rights just to be highlighted by Congress and their enforcement reintroduced to the public discussion uh, as not criminal behavior. Uh, I'm hopefully not being overly optimistic in saying that American principles of simply being secure in our possessions and our property are going to prevail and that our reasonable right to privacy is going to lead the charge in all legal matters related to custody, wallets, even mixers and coin joins. At least I hope so. Yo, what's good? This is Sketch McGinney. Uh, just a quick prediction for Sasha. I predict uh, Bitcoin music definitely breaks into mainstream billboards this year. SBF doesn't kill himself, and John McAfee is definitely partying in Panama. Michael Saylor, CIA. Sketch to the dash. Shout out to Sasha. Skrilla, fake res, gone. Hi, this is Thomas, and I think technology is going to advance in 2023. A bold prediction. 